Knock, knock, by Mary Barr. Within the silence of the house, nothing stirred. Jan, the babysitter, had left earlier than she should. Flix was four. He snuggled deeply into the blanket on the worn-out red settee. Callie, at seven, felt very grown up. She sat turning pages of the scary witch story Jan had just read. Little Flix, cozy in pajamas, his blonde hair tussled, his face for once shiny and clean. Callie sat neatly dressed in her new brown denim jeans and her favorite old pink sweater. The once glittering fairy on the front unrecognizable and was now only patches of glitter. Cal! There's no noise! Flick spoke loudly, making Callie jump. So? So why is it so quiet? Because there is no noise, and we were told to sit quietly until bedtime, Callie replied authoritatively. But now's the time witches and goblins come inside. The book says so. Flix's tiny voice quivered. It's just a story, Callie replied, trying to sound confident, but also feeling uneasy with the silence. Flix wasn't helping. His huge, scared eyes stared at her from the top of the blanket. Callie took a deep breath. She wanted not to be scared. After all, she was in charge. Anyway, Mommy told me witches don't exist. Just then, the silence was shattered. Knock, knock, knock. The sound loud and menacing shook the old wooden door. Oh, good. Jan's back. Callie jumped to her feet. She skipped to the door, her long, shiny brown pigtails swinging to and fro. Don't open it! Flix yelled, trembling. Too late. Callie swung the door wide. Blackness hurriedly entered, swirling on a gust of freezing wind. It blew into the brightly lit house. A loud, dry crackle filled the air as the sooty darkness swirled higher toward the ceiling and began whizzing around. Flick screamed when the door banged shut. Callie stared upwards, transfixed. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, yeah, be! Callie? She replied in a tiny voice. The blackness quickly materialized into an evil-looking, fearsome witch, eyes as black as midnight, her long, spindly nose covered in dirty, bluish warts, while thin, cruel lips covered sharp, yellow-chipped teeth. She began flying around the ceiling, then suddenly landed heavily on the chandelier. Hee hee hee! Hoo yee bee! Callie, she replied again, trembling. Who I say! Who you he ye be who doesn't believe in witches like me?